welcome to another lesson I'm, I think it's the fourth one in this lesson we're going to learn how to validate the email now when you type in there's nothing okay so let's go back to the code and learn how to validate the email now this is where we left last time when we were validating the username okay we are going to continue the same way now remember I said I'm not going to use document dot get element by ID I'm going to use the ID of the elements as variables JavaScript actually takes the ID of the elements as variables okay so you don't have to keep on using document dot get element by ID so in this case still inside this window dot window dot load we are going now to create some space now we'll get the email okay so we are going to add an event listener to the email the event of key up so when the user is typing we add the anonymous function there as a second argument the third argument is the use capture it's going to be false now in between these curly braces is how we're going to type our code okay there so the first thing is we create the variables that we need the first one the variable called email which is going to be event dot target dot value now this event should actually be passed in here as an argument okay and uh, i'm going to explain it for the last time the event has several properties one of them is the target which now returns us back to the element that is calling this function this one okay dot value the next variable we're going to create is response box we're going to make it to be the event dot target dot next element sibling i explained this one every element has the next sibling property and this is what i mean when you go back to our html here you see there is this email is the id of the email we are targeting the next sibling element which is this span okay so we collapse that body don't need it so we've created our variables how we're going to do this we're going to use an if condition to check whether this email is valid okay so we're going to type in if if email remember email is this variable here email so for us to be able to crack this let's type in some email and we see if email so we are going to use string methods dot index of so we are going to check whether the index of that character okay it should be that way that character is not equals to negative one so what we are doing here this index of checks the position of this character in that string so it will return the number or negative one negative one is when it's not in the string so if this one is in the string uh-huh you see it's in the string and email dot index of now we're checking for that dot is not equals to negative one so we're also checking whether that dot exists in that string you see there should be a dot somewhere we'll also check for another one and 
email dot last index now this method when we run it on a string it checks the last position of that character in that string so we're checking whether the last index of this one is less than the last index of this one what we're checking there is does any art come after the dot because if there's an art after the last dot that's not a valid email okay so if the last index of that is less than last index of the dot and we're now going to check whether this dot has at least two characters after it the last dot okay so we're going to do that we're going to add this and the last index of the dot is less than the email dot length minus two okay so if if the email that the user has typed in passes all these checks then it's a valid email okay so the response box which is this element there dot inner html is going to be a check then the response box dot style dot color is going to be green if it fails all these checks then it's not a valid email okay so we go to the else whereby we'll just copy those paste them there and the color is going to be red and this is going to be crossed with some text so let's save the file and test it so we're back to the browser so let's start typing so not unless this has an ad and some text and a dot so when it fulfills the, the qualifications it's an email okay that is what we're doing so that's it now but make sure this f is not a capital f it's a lowercase f okay see you in the next lesson